Kaylee Linux is a special operating system for cybersecurity professionals. It's like a toolbox full of powerful programs designed to test and find weaknesses in computer networks. Think of it as a high-tech security system for your digital life. Unlike regular operating systems you use every day, Kali Linux is built specifically for penetration testing. This means it's made to simulate real-world cyber attacks in a controlled environment. By doing so, security experts can identify vulnerabilities before the bad guys do. Kali Linux comes with hundreds of pre-installed tools, each with a unique purpose. Some tools are designed for reconnaissance, which is like gathering intelligence on your target. Others are for exploiting vulnerabilities like picking a lock on a digital door. Whether you're a seasoned security professional or just curious about cybersecurity, understanding Kali Linux is essential in today's digital landscape. It's a powerful tool that can be used for both good and bad, making it crucial to use it responsibly and ethically. Kali Linux is legal to use, download, and learn from. However, using its tools against systems or networks without permission is illegal and unethical. Think of it like a hammer. You can use it to build a house or break into one. The tool itself isn't bad, but how you use it determines its legality. Using Kali Linux for ethical hacking such as penetration testing with proper authorization is perfectly legal and encouraged. In fact, many businesses hire ethical hackers to test their systems and improve their security. However, using Kali Linux for malicious purposes such as stealing data or disrupting services is a crime with serious consequences. Just like any other tool, responsibility falls on the user. Before using Kali Linux, it's crucial to understand the legal boundaries and ethical considerations. Always obtain proper authorization before testing any system that you don't own or have explicit permission to access. Ethical hacking is like being a good guy burglar. You use the same skills and tools as the bad guys, but instead of stealing, you're helping to make things more secure. It's about finding vulnerabilities before the criminals do and fixing them before any damage can be done. By thinking like an attacker, ethical hackers can identify weaknesses in systems and networks. They use this knowledge to recommend security improvements, ensuring that sensitive data and systems are protected from real-world threats. Ethical hacking is a critical part of cybersecurity today. It helps businesses and organizations stay one step ahead of cyber criminals and protect themselves from costly data breaches and service disruptions. Remember, the best way to defend against an attack is to understand how the attack works in the first place. Section 4. Essential Tools in Kali Linux, Your Digital Detective Kit. In this section, we will delve into some of the most crucial tools that come pre-installed with Kali Linux a powerful operating system designed for penetration testing and digital forensics. Kali Linux comes loaded with hundreds of tools, each designed for a specific purpose in the penetration testing process. These tools are invaluable for cybersecurity professionals, ethical hackers, and anyone interested in understanding the intricacies of network security. Some of the essential tools include Nmap or Network Mapper. Nmap is a versatile tool that allows you to scan networks and discover hosts and services. This tool is used for network exploration and discovery. It helps you map out the network structure, identify active devices, and understand the services running on those devices. It allows you to see what devices are connected to a network and what services they are running. This information is crucial for identifying potential vulnerabilities and securing the network. Think of it as a radar system for your target network. It provides a comprehensive overview of the network's landscape, making it easier to pinpoint areas that need attention. Next, we have the Metasploit framework. This is a powerful tool for developing and executing exploits. Metasploit is widely used by penetration testers to simulate attacks and test the security of systems. It's like a library of pre-built tools for exploiting known vulnerabilities. With Metasploit, you can automate the process of discovering and exploiting security flaws, making it an essential tool for any cybersecurity toolkit. Just like a master key can open many locks, Metasploit can exploit a wide range of weaknesses. It provides a platform for testing the effectiveness of your security measures and identifying areas that need improvement. Moving on, we have Wireshark. This tool captures and analyzes network traffic. Wireshark is an essential tool for network administrators and security professionals, allowing them to monitor and troubleshoot network issues. It's like a surveillance camera for your network, allowing you to see all the data that's being transmitted. By capturing and analyzing packets, Wireshark helps you understand the flow of data and identify any anomalies. 
Wireshark helps identify suspicious activity and understand how attackers might be trying to infiltrate your network. It provides detailed insights into network traffic, making it easier to detect and respond to potential threats. Lastly, we have John the Ripper. This tool is used for password cracking. John the Ripper is a fast and flexible password cracking tool that can help you identify weak passwords and improve your overall security posture. It uses various techniques to guess passwords, highlighting weak passwords that need to be strengthened. By testing the strength of your passwords, you can ensure that your accounts and systems are better protected against unauthorized access. Think of it as a digital lockpick testing the strength of your digital defenses. It helps you identify and address vulnerabilities in your password policies, making your systems more secure. These are just a few of the many tools available in Kali Linux. Each tool has its own unique capabilities and applications, making Kali Linux a comprehensive platform for penetration testing and cybersecurity. Understanding how to use these tools effectively is essential for anyone interested in ethical hacking and penetration testing. With the right knowledge and skills, you can leverage these tools to protect your networks and systems from potential threats, ensuring a safer digital environment for everyone. Section 5 Reconnaissance – Mapping Your Target Network Reconnaissance is the first and most crucial step in any ethical hacking engagement. It sets the stage for everything that follows, providing the necessary information to proceed with precision and effectiveness. It's like gathering intelligence before a mission. Just as a military operation requires detailed knowledge of the terrain and enemy positions, ethical hacking requires a deep understanding of the target network. The more you know about your target network, the more successful you'll be in identifying and exploiting vulnerabilities. This knowledge allows you to anticipate potential challenges and devise strategies to overcome them. One common reconnaissance technique is scanning. This involves systematically probing the network to discover active devices and open communication channels. Tools like Nmap are invaluable for this purpose. They help identify active hosts and open ports on a network, providing a snapshot of the network's surface. It's like knocking on doors to see who answers. Each response provides a clue about the network structure and the devices connected to it. By scanning, ethical hackers can create a detailed map of the network. This map reveals the layout and interconnections of devices, helping to identify potential points of entry. Another important technique is enumeration. This goes a step further by extracting detailed information about the network's resources and services. Enumeration involves gathering data such as usernames, shared resources, and running services. This information is crucial for understanding the network's inner workings. It's like looking through someone's mail to learn more about them. Each piece of information adds to the overall picture of the network. By enumerating, ethical hackers can gain valuable insights into potential vulnerabilities. This knowledge is essential for planning effective attacks and defenses. Social engineering is also a form of reconnaissance. Unlike technical methods, it relies on human interaction to gather information. This might involve tricking someone into revealing sensitive information or gaining access to restricted areas. It's a psychological approach that exploits human weaknesses. This might involve tricking someone into revealing sensitive information such as passwords or confidential data, or it could involve gaining physical access to a restricted system, bypassing technical defenses through human error. It highlights the human element in cybersecurity. No matter how advanced the technology, people can be the weakest link in any security chain. This is why training and awareness are critical components of any security strategy. Educating users about potential threats can significantly reduce the risk of social engineering attacks. Effective reconnaissance provides a solid foundation for the rest of the ethical hacking process. It ensures that subsequent actions are based on accurate and comprehensive information. By thoroughly understanding the target network, ethical hackers can focus their efforts on the most likely areas of vulnerability. This targeted approach increases the chances of success while minimizing unnecessary risks. Ethical hackers can then develop a targeted strategy, concentrating their efforts on the most promising areas for exploitation. This methodical approach is key to effective and efficient ethical hacking. Section 6. Vulnerability Scanning – Finding the Weak Points In this section, we will delve into the crucial process of identifying and addressing vulnerabilities within your network. Once you've gathered comprehensive information about your target network, the next step is to meticulously look for vulnerabilities. This involves a detailed examination of every component within the network. This is where vulnerability scanning comes in. 
These scans are essential for uncovering hidden weaknesses that could be exploited by malicious actors. Think of it like checking a house for unlocked doors or broken windows. Just as you would secure your home, you need to secure your network by identifying and fixing these weak points. Vulnerability scanners are automated tools that scan systems and networks for known weaknesses. They work tirelessly to ensure no stone is left unturned. They compare the target system against a comprehensive database of known vulnerabilities and alert you to any potential risks. This comparison is crucial for identifying both common and obscure threats. It's like having a detailed checklist of potential security flaws to look for. Each item on this list represents a possible entry point for attackers. There are many different vulnerability scanners available, each with its own strengths and weaknesses. Choosing the right tool depends on your specific needs and the complexity of your network. Some popular options include OpenVS, which is known for its open source flexibility, Nessus, which is highly regarded for its comprehensive scanning capabilities, and Nexpose, which excels in real-time vulnerability management. These tools can identify a wide range of vulnerabilities, from outdated software to misconfigured settings. Once vulnerabilities have been identified, they need to be assessed for their potential risk. This assessment helps in understanding the impact of each vulnerability on your network security. Not all vulnerabilities are created equal. Some might be critical, posing an immediate threat to your network's integrity, while others might be minor, requiring attention but not posing an immediate risk. Understanding the severity of a vulnerability is essential for prioritizing remediation efforts. This ensures that the most dangerous vulnerabilities are addressed first. Vulnerability scanning is an ongoing process. It's not a one-time task but a continuous effort to keep your network secure. New vulnerabilities are discovered all the time, making it imperative to stay updated with the latest security patches and updates. So it's important to regularly scan your systems and networks to ensure that they're protected. Regular scans help in identifying new vulnerabilities and ensuring that previously identified ones have been effectively mitigated. By integrating vulnerability scanning into your regular security practices, you can create a robust defense mechanism that adapts to new threats and keeps your network secure. Remember, the goal is to stay one step ahead of potential attackers by continuously monitoring and improving your network's security posture. This proactive approach is key to maintaining a secure and resilient network environment.